Have you ever wondered how some people manage to turn their financial lives around, even in the face of adversity? Today, we delve into the captivating theme of triumph over adversity. We'll explore compelling stories of individuals who, against all odds, have managed to overcome financial hardships and amass real wealth. Prepare to be inspired by their determination, resilience, and hard work. So, are you ready to unravel the mysteries behind their success? Stay tuned to uncover the secrets of real people who have achieved real wealth. Meet John, a man who found himself bankrupt at the age of 45. It was a crushing blow, a harsh reality he never thought he'd face. He was a hard-working man yet he found himself in a pit of despair, unable to see the way out. John's story is not unique. Many of us have faced or will face financial struggles at some point in our lives. Yet what makes John's tale truly remarkable is not the adversity he faced, but how he chose to respond to it. John was once a man living paycheck to paycheck, uncertain of how he'd afford his next meal or make his monthly rent. But instead of succumbing to his circumstances, he decided to take control. He began to educate himself about financial management, learning the ins and outs of budgeting, saving, and investing. He devoured books, attended seminars, and sought advice from financial experts. Then came the turning point. John realized that he was not a victim of his circumstances, but rather the architect of his financial destiny. He started making changes, small at first, cutting back on unnecessary expenses, setting aside a small portion of his income for savings, and slowly paying off his debts. Over time, these small steps made a big difference. John was no longer living paycheck to paycheck. He had a growing savings account, was free from debt, and even began investing his money. He was no longer just surviving, he was thriving. But it didn't stop there. John's story didn't end with him just achieving financial stability. He went a step further, using the knowledge he had gained to help others in similar situations. He became a financial advisor, using his experience and wisdom to guide others on the path to financial freedom. John's story is a testament to the power of determination and hard work. He shows us that no matter how dire the situation may seem, with the right mindset and actions we can turn our financial lives around. It's not about where we start, it's about the steps we take to change our situation. Remember, it's never too late to take control of your finances and turn things around. Just ask John. But how exactly did John manage to turn his financial life around? Well, it all boils down to a few key strategies that he employed. Firstly, John confronted his financial reality head-on. He meticulously tracked his income and expenses, which gave him a clear picture of his financial health. This allowed him to cut unnecessary spending and prioritize his debts. Secondly, he sought professional advice. Financial experts were able to guide him through the process, providing him with valuable insights and practical solutions tailored to his situation. Next, John focused on increasing his income. He picked up side jobs, invested in his skills to fetch a higher salary, and even ventured into passive income sources. Lastly, he cultivated a mindset of abundance rather than scarcity. This shift in perspective made a world of difference, enabling him to see opportunities where he once saw obstacles. John's story is not an anomaly but a possibility for anyone willing to take control of their financial life. Now let's turn to Sarah, a woman who was once drowning in debt. In the heart of a bustling city, Sarah, a single mother of two, found herself in a financial abyss. She was a hard worker, juggling multiple jobs while raising her children. Despite her best efforts, she couldn't seem to escape the relentless pull of debt. Credit cards, loans, unpaid bills, they were all like chains around her, pulling her further and further into the depths of financial despair. But Sarah was not a woman to be easily defeated. She took a hard look at her situation and decided it was time for a change. She started by educating herself about personal finance. She read books, attended seminars, and sought advice from financial experts. Sarah realized that her lack of knowledge about money management was a significant factor in her financial struggles. Armed with her newfound knowledge, Sarah began to implement changes. She drafted a budget, cut unnecessary expenses, and started a savings plan. She negotiated with her creditors, consolidated her debts, and set up a repayment plan she could manage. It was a tough journey, filled with sacrifices, but Sarah was determined. Slowly but surely, Sarah began to see improvements. Her debts were reducing, her savings were growing, and for the first time in a long time, she felt financially secure. It was as if she had been swimming against a strong current, and finally, she was able to breathe. But Sarah didn't stop there. She took the lessons she learned and turned them into a new career. She became a financial advisor, using her personal experience to help others escape the clutches of debt and achieve financial independence. Today Sarah is not just financially stable, she is wealthy. 
She owns her home, has investments, and is able to provide a comfortable life for her children. Sarah's story is an inspiring example of triumph over adversity. It's a testament to the power of determination, education, and hard work. It's a reminder that no matter how deep the financial hole, there's always a way out. And most importantly, it's proof that anyone from any walk of life can turn their financial situation around and achieve wealth. What can we learn from Sarah's journey to financial freedom? Well, firstly, Sarah's story is a testament to the power of determination and strategic financial planning. She didn't allow her debt to define her future. Instead, she took control and made some tough but necessary decisions. One of the pivotal moments in Sarah's journey was her decision to consolidate her debt. This allowed her to manage her repayments more effectively and reduce the interest she was paying. She also sought advice from financial experts who helped her create a realistic budget and savings plan. Sarah also invested in herself. She took courses to improve her skills, leading to better job opportunities and increased income. Furthermore, she built an emergency fund ensuring she was prepared for any unexpected expenses. Sarah's experience shows us that triumph over adversity is not only possible but achievable. It's about making the right decisions, seeking help when needed, and never losing sight of your financial goals. The common thread in these stories is the decision to take control of their financial lives. It's a decision that's not always easy to make, but it's one that carries enormous potential. Just like in our case studies, financial control was the catalyst that transformed adversity into triumph. Imagine your finances as a ship sailing on the tumultuous sea of life. If you let go of the helm, the ship will be tossed about by the waves, and you'll find yourself at the mercy of the currents. But once you take control, you can navigate through the storm, you can steer your ship towards safe harbor. That's the power of financial control. It's not just about counting pennies or saving for a rainy day. It's about understanding where your money is going and making conscious decisions about how you want to use it. It's about setting financial goals and working diligently to achieve them. It's about building wealth, not just for the sake of having more but to create a future that aligns with your dreams and aspirations. In the stories we've shared today, financial control was the driving force that turned lives around. It was the key that unlocked doors to opportunities, the tool that built bridges over financial chasms. It was, and always will be, an essential element in the journey towards financial freedom. Financial control is not just about managing money, it's about shaping your future. Now that you've heard these inspiring stories, it's time to write your own. You see, the journey to financial freedom isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. It's about making small, consistent steps towards your goal. It's about making the choice to take control of your financial life every single day. Start by setting clear, achievable financial goals. Whether it's saving for retirement, paying off debt, or building an emergency fund, having a target to aim for can provide the motivation you need to stay on track. Next, educate yourself about finance. In this digital age, there's a wealth of information at your fingertips. Use it. Read books, listen to podcasts, follow finance blogs and watch educational videos. The more you know, the better decisions you can make. Budgeting is another crucial step. It's about understanding where your money is going and making conscious decisions about how to spend it. It's not about depriving yourself, but about making your money work for you. And let's not forget about investing. It's one of the most effective ways to grow your wealth over time. Start small if you need to. The important thing is to start. Remember, it's okay to ask for help. There are financial advisors, credit counselors, and wealth managers who can provide guidance and support. Don't be afraid to reach out to them. Lastly, be patient. Building wealth takes time. There will be setbacks and challenges, but remember the stories we've shared today. Real people just like you have overcome adversity to create real wealth. And remember, your financial journey is your own. It doesn't have to look like anyone else's. It just has to work for you. So, are you ready? It's time to take that first step. It's time to take control of your financial life. It's time to start writing your own story of triumph over adversity. Remember, you have the power to triumph over adversity and create real wealth. Start your journey today.